the Moosehead Lake region of Maine. It's a four-season vacation spot, popular for its many outdoor activities such as wildlife viewing, fishing, kayaking, cross-country skiing, snowmobiling. And every February it draws people from New England and beyond to witness and participate in the 100-mile wilderness sled dog race. Saturday morning in February, and mushers and dogs are preparing for their trek into the wilderness by dog team. Gear is being checked by race volunteers, dogs are being booted up and harnessed, and the mushers are getting ready for a 9 a.m. race start. All the spectators, please come to the front down here. The race draws mushers and dogs from all over the East Coast in Canada. I'm Chris Logue. I'm the handler of the team. My wife's the musher, Mary Beth Logue, and we're from Pennsylvania. Uh, my name is Alan Rickleton. I'm from Natural Bridge, New York. Jay Fouché from Ashland, New Hampshire. And uh, these are all purebred Siberian Huskies. Our team is made up of Alaskan Huskies. We have 22 dogs in our kennel, and we brought 10 here today with us. My team, uh, I got 12 Alaskan Huskies. You wouldn't think that's an Alaskan Husky. husky. Well, she is, but she has a lot of uh, German short-haired pointer in her. The dog teams are about to embark upon a trail that will head out north across Moosehead Lake and then up into the mountains of the famed 100-mile wilderness. They will make their way to a checkpoint about 50 miles away where they will take a mandatory two-hour rest before returning to Greenville in the finish line. The trail has been meticulously groomed with the help of local snowmobilers, and along the route are wardens, forestry, police, sweep sleds, and ham radio operators who are there to help ensure the safety of the dogs and drivers on the trail. We're grooming the trail for the dog sleds to take off in the fishing game. And we're going to be up on Blue Ridge watching me so no snowmobilers run into them. How much did you groom this morning and all that? Well, we groomed the other day. On the way, putting the stakes up, and we're going to be grooming all day today for it. Tell me where they go. And they go up Moosehead Lake to Sandy Bay. From Sandy Bay, they cross over on the Alpha Mountain Trail. The Alpha Mountain Trail, they go up and connect on the ITS 85 north to the Prong Pond Road, which goes out around North Brook, up over Blue Ridge. And when they drop down the backside of Blue Ridge, it's like dropping off the end of the world. The race is put on with the help of many local volunteers who donate their time and efforts both before and on race day, with as much enthusiasm as the dogs and the drivers themselves have. I think it's a beautiful day, it's sunny, it's good temperatures, and trail's supposed to be really good and lots of snow, so I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna get hooked up and go and enjoy the beautiful scenery and, and have a lot of fun, hopefully. <laughs> Each driver is required to carry a minimum of survival gear, including sleeping bag, fire starting supplies, dog booties, an axe, food for dogs and driver, and snowshoes. To carry all this weight, each team is allowed to run 8 to 12 dogs in the race. How many dogs today? 12 dogs today. And who's the lead dog? Uh, they're actually on the other side. Okay. <laughs> this is Magic. She's one of my most fabulous leaders, aren't you? These are my two leaders, Burner and Cuscalana. What makes a good leader? How do you decide who's going to be the leader? Well, those two are very loyal and they're very smart and they have a lot of drive. Mushers spend hours of time each season with their dogs and the ultimate of care is given to these amazing canine athletes during training and racing. So the vet's role in the race? Just to observe the dogs. If the, right, if the mushers have any problems with them, any lameness or any metabolic problems, then we We'll address it if they have a concern about their dogs or if we're concerned about the dogs, just the welfare of the dogs. Most of the mushers are very, very good and will take care of their own dogs. Sometimes usually consult us and see what we think and they'll make a decision to either drop a dog or if they need to slow down. But everything else has gone good. good. Good crew of mushers. As the start of the race approaches, mushers begin hooking up their teams with the help of volunteers. Beginning at 9 a.m., a team will leave the starting chute every two minutes, 
Dogs lunging in their harnesses with enthusiasm to hit the trail. checkpoint, resting for two hours and then heading back, at 6.24 p.m., the winning team crosses the finish line. Congratulations, man! So who is the star today, you or the dogs? The dogs usually, they're my friends. In 2009, the race committee successfully added a shorter 30-mile course in addition to the longer race, doubling the amount of mushers and dog teams who entered. They also donated a portion of race proceeds to help fuel assistance programs in local communities. Other activities for spectators, such as sled dog rides and demonstrations, were held during the day while the racers were out on the trail. The race has been lauded as one of the best organized races in New England by the mushers who run it and continues to be a success each year. The 100-mile wilderness race in Greenville, Maine on the scenic shores of Moosehead Lake, a fun-filled event for the entire family.